Hello, my dear friends. Uh, once more, as the Lord has put upon me to do, I, I give a word on what I've learned, kind of putting everything together as to talking about the specific rapture and everything that occurs after it and what leads up to the rapture and all of these other things. And I've already spoken about the Revelation 12 sign and how that was the kickstart of 1260 days until the rapture, until the war, until the, be the beginning of the building of the temple, until it goes away from the Gentiles to the Jews, and of course until the devil begins to persecute Christians. And there is a large group of evangelicals, Calvinists, all of these different things that are really just part of one of the seven churches of Revelation. And you can look over those seven churches of Revelation, and you truly can see which one that group belongs to. These are wonderful brothers and sisters and mothers. These are sons, these are daughters, these are dads, these are moms. These are people who you know that would take the shirt off their back and give them to you. But these people have such a sink their teeth in the building instead of the builder that they refuse, even when provided the word of God, the builder, to accept his word over the building. And there will be many of them who believe they are going in the rapture right up until it comes and they don't. And it's not me that says this, it's God that says it. Because if you believe in the Revelation 12 sign, you believe after 1260 days comes the deliverance of the faithful, you believe what it says in Revelation chapter 3 about keeping one from the hour of trial who have truly won the prize. Do you know what the devil has done over the last 2,000 years? And we make fun of it from a culture standpoint. We always say, well, you know participation trophies everybody wins one these days because the devil has indeed minimized what it means to actually win something we think everybody wins something when god tells us specifically not everybody wins the reward uh, it doesn't mean that we're not saved but it does mean we don't all take first place and win the reward it's very easy to understand in that concept god doesn't give out participation trophies he wants somebody to win, and all of those who will win, they receive the victor's crown, and all of those who will not believe him and his word, they must be further tried, just like God repeatedly tells us in Revelation with the seven churches. It's so easy to explain this, yet we, we lose track so much that we actually believe the doctrine that the churches have taught over believing the actual word of God. So there is no participation trophies. You know, whenever Isaac is sitting on a table, there's no participation trophy. It's, uh, I've, I'm going to kill him because God said to do it. And then God said no. For Lot, there's no participation trophy. He, he's not rescued from the destruction because he was just like everybody else. He was rescued because he was the victor time and time again. Noah and his family, he was the victor time and time again. The victor is a very small piece of people who believe. And they will all use the same reasonings behind it, that all Christians go because Christ's body can't be separated and all of these other things. The Lord specifically tells us, again, not my words, but his, until heaven and earth be created new, the law will not go away. So he tells us specifically, right up until the whole thing is made new, everything that's ever been said about the law remains in effect. Christ not once has ever promised us that you will not taste death. As a matter of fact, all men are destined to live once and die and go to the judgment seat. However, because of the reward that Christ gives for waiting faithfully on him in the last generation, they get the reward of those who are living meet him in the air and be changed. And it's really just to be a testimony of the Holy Spirit because it's God's will that this happens for us. But that's a reward. That's what the rapture is. It is all a reward. It's not all Christians. It's a reward for
for those who believe his word and just accept it. Not our own words, but his. So you have many that will use that. Well, he can't separate. He's not going to beat his bride up. That's not the case. Jesus says specifically, Truly I tell you, some standing here with me will not taste death. Meaning those who are his disciples will not taste death. Well, there's lots of disciples. There's lots of people who believe. There's lots of people in the church. Jesus tells us, go and make disciples of the world. Jesus fed 4,000 and he fed 7,000. But he only had 12 disciples with him. Jesus is saying, if you're a disciple, truly you will not taste death when I come back. When, if you're one of the four or the 7,000, you're still going to taste death. And praise and glory be to you for how you will die. Because, or even there will be some that will make it all the way through to the end as well. But that's a different thing. I won't speak of that right now. But glorified will they be to die just like John the Baptist or St. Peter. So what, what this group does, and I firmly believe the Lord will purify a lot of them over the next two years to just believe him instead of their own doctrines, to believe the builder instead of the building. I firmly believe the Lord is working on all of them. But what, what this amounts to is they negate the word of God to fulfill their own word instead of just believing the word of God. So if you go on, continue in Revelation chapter 12, when the dragon saw he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she might be taken care of for a time, times and a half a time out of the serpent's reach. This is the first three and a half years of the tribulation. This is while they're building the temple. This is the time of the Jews. It's the transitional period before we get to the next three and a half years, which starts in chapter 13. Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening her mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out. Then the dragon was enraged with the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring, those who keep God's commands and hold fast their testimony about Jesus. He specifically tells us, these are people who believe in me. <laughs> these are my people. They believe me. They're Christians. And they're still on the earth. So that means that they haven't gone in a rapture. They, they did not go for whatever reason. But they're here now and they believe. And they've been purified more since the rapture happened. So they believe they're Christians. Matthew 24, Jesus talks about the worst persecution to ever happen in the history of the world, never again to be seen like that one. He's talking about Christians. He's talking about people who take his name and say, I believe in him. He's talking about Christians that are persecuted and killed, just like in the Holocaust, which is what we see and what we will see during the Great Tribulations. You see it right now in the world. Christians are being groomed to be sent to the execution chambers because the world has its way with us right now. And say whatever we want, does whatever it wants, rips down all of our stuff. This world hates us, and the, all peoples of the world look upon Christians, and they're okay with being violent towards Christians. It's okay. Muslims, no, you better not say a word. Jews, you better not say a word. But Christians, you can say whatever you want. And you know this to be true just by watching just as watchmen are suspected or supposed to be doing. If you are watching, you see these things. So we understand that there is going to be this persecution, just like the Holocaust, on Christians, people who claim they believe in Jesus Christ. Just like Jesus says, you know, Lord, Lord, but Lord, Lord. And Jesus says, I did not know you, be gone with me, you wicked people. These are people that claim they know him, but they're hypocrites. They do not. They believe their own word. It's all through scripture. If you just would believe the builder instead of the building, it's written all through his word that Christians are persecuted. God does not give out participation trophies. He gives out a reward to the victor. That reward is not tasting death, but meeting their Lord in the air. 
on the time of his visitation. Not in the time where he comes back to make everything new, on his visitation, which means he doesn't come to dwell here. It's a visitation. He just takes us. These are wonderful people that say these kind of things. A lot of them are wonderful people. There are definitely a lot of hypocrites as well that understand and say these things. But there are also a lot of good people who say these things. And understand the Lord is working on taking the speck from their eye. Because they don't have a plank in their eye. They understand a lot. But they do have a speck in the eye that they put more hope on the building than the builder. They put more hope on what was built from the cornerstone instead of the cornerstone. And it is my prayer and my hope that God takes many of these and brings them to being spotless, brings them to believing and loving just his word come the time of his visitation. So my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my mothers, all of you who will listen to me, they are not to be condemned. This group is just as us. They are just as us in the kingdom of heaven. Some people receive five, some receive two, some receive one. They're all working. We're all working for the same wage. So do not be malicious with an attempt to remove the speck from your eye because I have been there before. And it was I that had the plank in my eye trying to remove their speck. Now only after my plank's been removed can I remove their speck or hopefully remove some of their specks if they're led to listen to me. That all of what they're teaching is, is good. It's just as true or not true as anything a man teaches. Remember, anything other than yes or no, man doesn't understand. It's going to be wrong, but it's still a doctrine. Christ knew the churches weren't perfect. He had seven of them, and he gave them all a review of what he thought of them and what they needed to do. He knows they're not perfect. But what happens is they neglect the Word of God as it's written, and they twist it, and they make it be something that it's not. So when all of these things do come to pass... They're not going to understand why. And I'm here, and there are others like me here, that are given the mission to prepare them so that when they do see these things come to pass, if they do not have the faith by that time, that they will have the faith after they see it come to pass, and that they will fulfill scripture, scriptures of Revelation chapter 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, because God said that's what has to happen. I didn't say there's going to be a persecution of Christians. God said it. And the world testifies for it right now. So my friends, understand, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm trying to lift everyone up into believing the word of God, into being like Christ, into being holy, and to trust and believe his holy word, because it's the only word that's true. I want to lift everyone up so that they feel the peace that I feel right now. But understand the only way you feel this peace is if you actually believe it. And there are many who will teach against the belief. And there will be many who would criticize what I say. And I love them all the same. It doesn't matter. Because I was once just like them in their shoes criticizing everybody else for things that I was doing. This is the results of sin. This is the results of pride. It's the results of ego that does this, having to be right. But my friends, it's, it's, it's time to be done with all of that. We got two years until this, this sign from Revelation 12 is fulfilled, less than two years. So please, my friends, if you listen to what I say, and you believe it's not my words, but God's, because I'm showing you just what is written and what he said then my friends, you know that God will use us to do work in these last times. And I'm willing to work. And I hope that some of you who will listen to this are also willing to work like me. God bless you, everyone.